all right all right all right so today i just felt like i want to sit me in the sun and talk a little bit about the things that i would have liked someone told me before i got into webflow and i've got my list and i just go through it all some some points that are probably pretty valuable all right so first thing is you have to learn front end structures in order to create good because otherwise if you don't learn that you basically create just shit that's value number one by the way for each value i've got an article or some other value in the description so you can just go there and check all right so what what resource should i need to go to that's the key point of this video so you can go into the comments and check the resources that i've put there second value webflow is a development tool so that's kind of yeah is connected to the first value webflow is html css and javascript so there's like no there i, I mean you don't have to learn um, how to code websites but you should have a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to use Webflow. Coding for the web is really fun. So for <laughs> fourth point, so I actually recognize that coding's pretty great, <laughs> but that's just a personal, personal, uh, my like personal reference. Five, you have to be confident about your work. That connects to the point that I've somewhere put into here that the webflow community is really great so just post your value so there's no no need to not show your your work and that is point five that i really learned um yeah since this great adventure with the webflow community point six there's nothing wrong with cloning components and using them for your own projects. So my partner and I soon realized when we started our company that the Webflow clonable library where all the Webflow community is posting content on is so big and there's no need <laughs> okay and there's no need to to not use the clonable library so it's pretty valuable and you should use the clonable library and clone for example a button or something like that and i also get like we're working on the webflow ecosystem right now and it's getting pretty huge to be honest with you and um yeah that's pretty great so clone projects there's no there's nothing wrong with cloning them the Webflow community is so great. Engage with it. Point seven. Yeah, to be honest, really, the Webflow community is so it's such a great community. And there's like you should like you should really engage with it, with them, with the people on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter. Please do that's that's crazy. Like um, oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit um <laughs> euphoric right now. Okay, point eight. Nobody gives a shit on what level level you are. So post your results. That connects with the other point that I've somehow already said. Post your results, show your work. Really, nobody cares a shit about how like how good good you are. To be honest, like really. Point nine. Help to make the web better by providing free clonables and free resources for the Webflow community. So that's a critical point for me, because when you are cloning, now when you are cloning something, you should also give something back. And yeah, that's really the case. So when you're creating something, really think if someone could use this. So what I'm doing myself, I'm providing clonables and free resources on my Webflow profile. So check that out, and there are some probably some valuable resources that you can clone and check how they are built. Yeah, so do that. That's pretty great. Number 10. 
do not overuse the Webflow interaction. So when I first started Webflow, I was kind of like probably probably everybody. Yeah, the Webflow interactions are so great and uh, the use cases and the ability to do anything in web is pretty awesome and it is, yes. But um, to be real of you, so I'm based here in Germany, in Munich, and people want that the website it's not only <laughs> it's not only great and good designed what they really want is that this website creates leads and if the website is too high in interactions there probably be some downsides in lead creating so keep that in mind when using the webflow interactions point 11 learn good naming structure you don't save time when you don't name your elements, really. So learn BEM. I've got an article inside the description where you can learn BEM method. Pretty, too, like, please, please do that. Develop clean from the beginning. Yeah, that's um, some of my personal points. So I think that very many, many pages out there are in the web that are not clean developed and not good developed. So please learn clean developing. And I've also got some articles inside the description. Webflow websites are extremely valuable for a lot of clients. Don't fear to price yourself too high. So that's also a critical point. The ability with Webflow and for example, the CMS is so damn crazy. Um, so there's no need you don't price yourself high. Like be confident and price yourself high. All right, so next point. You can learn Webflow and code the best way, in my opinion, by developing crazy websites like Apple and adapting their techniques. I mean, you can get the clonables by the Webflow community and that's also great to learn interactions but to learn real developments with Webflow, what you can do is just create, just go onto, for example, the Apple website like I'm doing it, and just um, yeah, go into the inspect mode and check how they build this website and then try to replicate it. And that's really a great way, dude, please. <laughs> and that's really a great way to develop and learn to, to, to like learn to develop the correct way. Yeah. Compress your images always. <laughs> so I'm using the compressor.io also in the comments below, like in the description. And for like the 16th now, you don't need to have After Effects for transforming a GIF or a video into a lotty JSON file. So I've got resources for that also inside the description. So go check that out. You don't need to have Adobe After Effects to create a lotty or to transform a GIF or a video from, from that point to a lotty animation. That's no, not, requ not required. Yeah, and the last hack uh, or the last value, debug your website with the X-ray mode by Webflow. So shift command X. I've got this, I've got it also inside the description. There's a way to debug your websites easier with this command. All right, so that's my uh, points and I hope they were valuable to you and I hope they could help you to, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I wish someone told me these points when I was getting into Webflow. By the way, at Blogitin, we have our Webflow newsletter where we cover valuable Webflow stuff. So you can go and check it out. It is also inside of the description and I hope to see you there. So yeah, we see each other in the next video. And if you have any questions regarding Webflow or clean coding, just write me a DM or write it in the comments below and I'm gonna answer them really quickly. So we see each other in the next video and till then, happy coding.